Oh, ho, ho, guys, that's on my here. Welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Blood Money in the life of the We did that line in a new one, and this next one we're doing a new life. Now for a cutscene. Getting a clearer picture? You had an agent on the inside, and 47 killed him. We've got it on videotape. The incident put us back on 47's tail, which eventually led to his destruction. You actually caught him? We didn't just catch your urban legend. We killed him. I assume you can prove this. I intend to give you incontrovertible evidence. But how? There was a bit player for the mob in a certain witness protection program. He was protected 24-7 by some of the most dedicated professionals we had. 47 came for him anyway. And you killed him? Bring out the car. Wait a second, Jack. Come on. You can't just leave me hanging. Bring the folder. We'll talk on the way. The way where? Okay. Now we get our mission again, and yes. So yeah, this mission is it's, uh, one of my favorites. I like it. It's pretty fun. But it there is was one bit which is very delicate, and I actually just recorded this and failed at that one bit. <laughs> and so yeah. Anyway, so basically, what we got to do in this mission, we got to kill that guy who's being, you know. Uh, what's it called by the protected by the witness protection program, and uh, they are also having sorry a party today. So they've got this hot dog mobile pastries and whatever, which that guy is carrying in right now, and the clown. But we can either kill the clown or a security guard. I prefer the security guard because you get more access. If you want to kill a clown, you go over there. I'll, I'll just show you what to do. So I just poisoned those donuts. I'll show you what to do with them in a bit. If, if you want to kill the clown, he'll come over to this. You wait until nobody's looking over there, and you can kill him, and you can throw him in here, and then hide the body, and no one will ever know. And you know, take his clothes and whatever. You look pretty funny. Um. Anyway, so let's get this donut. These donuts. Quickly while nobody's looking. Okay, what you want to do is you want to come over to this van here and put down donuts. He'll knock on the door, and this guy will say, Fresh donuts. Ooh, <gasps> Oh my god, they're actually FBI! So yeah, they're just spying on the guy to make sure he doesn't die and whatever. And what we're going to do is we're going to poison him. Well, both of them. And then they'll die. <laughs> okay, okay then. Now, you can come in when they're dying or whatever, it doesn't really matter. They're already dead. Alright, so what you want to do when you're in here, you want to, I guess, take the gun, why not? Take your suit. Try and get the one with the glasses, because you look cooler. Uh, you want to steal the videotape, and if you want, you can dial, redial for the witness, who's the guy we want to kill. And I don't know, he'll, he'll walk up to the window and you can shoot him if you want or something, but I don't do that. Now, this next bit is the bit I was talking about. This bit is very, very delicate. So basically, he's in that room in there, right? Yep, sorry about that. And he's watching TV. He's got a, guard, a security guard there. What we want to do is we need to break this power box here. That that guy is just oh shit. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to. If you step near that guy, he'll look at you and then walk back, which is annoying. But um, anyway, his security guard will walk out and try and fix it. That is the only time he'll be alone. I I think, or he might go to the bathroom. Or something. I don't know. This is the way I do it. <laughs> so yeah, this bit is very delicate because if anybody sees you at all. Even with a glimpse, everyone will come trying to shoot you, and yeah, it will not end well for you. I can guarantee it. Oh boy. So basically, the, th the uh, three things you want to worry about, or four things, 
uh, the garbage man will sometimes come over here. That guy there. A security guard will come around this corner, and the clown, and possibly the jogger. So the, that's what five. So you have to wait until all of them are not looking. So you want to like check your map and everything to make sure nobody's around. It's kind of annoying because you can't really see what's going in the house. So people could walk out at any second, and you'd never even know. Well, actually, I think we've got a pretty good moment right now. In fact, oh, wait, hold on. Might as well do it now. Hopefully no one will notice. Okay, nobody noticed. Perfect. Ah, oh, I forgot to get that done. Now that TV is broken. Now the, the guys aren't in there right now, but you just wait until they're done. You're allowed to come through here, he won't have to check you or anything. Because you're a FBI guy. And then you just gotta wait, really. Wait by this door, because you're gonna hide the body in that door. Okay. So <coughs> wait until our target comes back. Oh here he comes now. Okay, from there he was talking to me, I was like, Oh dear. Anyway, so he's gonna sit down on his chair and and that guy's just going to sit down. He's going to try and turn it on. Shit's going to happen. He's going to send that guy to go turn it on. Be careful now, because that window is open. Don't want don't... You want to wait? Right, just a little bit. And then... Zip. Okie dokie. Target dead. Then we want to drag the body. Very awkwardly. Don't worry, you have a lot of time. The guy's a bit of an idiot, so he can't really fix the power box easily. Then again, all we did was pull some wires. He's got to freaking solder it back on and everything. Drop the body. Go through here and close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Thank you. Oh, fuck's sake. That was incredibly close. Whee! Now, he is dead. But, you also got to get the necklace of someone. I don't know if we have to do that just yet, if we're told to do it <laughs> or not. But, you, know. you can actually go around the block and go into this kid's treehouse start shooting people from up there. But, I don't know. It's kind of stupid. Um, where are we? Okay. Um, so we want to come through here, okay? Come through here. Now that poor boy is the guy we want to be next. Let's just run over here. Careful of the security guard. There is also a dog and a camera through there, I believe. So, you know, be careful. So, let's see. So, we want the poor boy to come. Whoop. Ah, okay, dokie. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, so we want to get the pool boy so we can go into this shed. Well, I guess we could go in anyway, but uh, I'll find it less conspicuous. Here he comes. And you go into the shed and you can find lighter fluid, okay? That might sound a bit weird to you, but believe me, it works. That clown just blew up a balloon and it's flying off into some... Alright. I don't know if this guy goes in the shed or not, but you know. Doesn't matter. Take a suit. Pick this lock. We could drag this body if we want. Might as well. 
Take him inside. I guess this guy was kind of unnecessary, but we didn't really kill him. Anyway, we'll take this lighter fluid. There's more um, in the garage, I believe, but I don't think we need it. Anyway, so we walk over here. Now that's the chick we got to kill, okay? So what we want to do? She uses the barbecue every now and then. Uh, she's also drunk, so you know, be careful. Stop walking around that area. Just because I'm the husky pool boy doesn't mean you have to flirt with me all the time, jeez. <laughs> There's people everywhere. I don't know if it matters if people see you or not when you do it, so... Oh yeah, the, the clown can entertain the guards. And that. Yeah, of course he's allowed to go through them. But, uh, ah, dog, hold on. <laughs> Now, let's go and read this barbecue, shall we? Now, for those of you weak of heart, you might not want to see this when she turns it on, because it gets a bit disturbing. Come on, stop walking over here, you freaking... Yeah. Ah, no. No, no! Ah, oh, no, I probably shouldn't have been the poor boy. Come back to the barbecue. I'm not going to follow you. Come on, quick. In fact, I'm going to change my suit just so you can't follow with me anymore. Jesus Christ. Alright. Now then, turn on the barbecue. Like I said, those of you weak of heart or whatever, you might not want to see this. It's a bit disturbing. It even has disturbing music. For God's sake, <sighs> go to the barbecue, you freaking thing. I don't know. I can't be bothered thinking of a proper insult. <sighs> Tell you what, folks, I'm going to cut it out here because she's just going to walk around like an idiot, drunk and idiot. I don't know. And I'll just skip ahead to when she comes back to the barbecue. Alright, I'll uh, see you now. Whenever. Bye. Okay, folks, here it comes. You're about to see something interesting. Ah, oh, Jesus. The music just tops it all off. She'll just fall in there, and now she's a charred body. Which is quite disturbing. And you have to walk up to it, and you've got to take the necklace off her. Don't worry, everyone's going to be distracted. Ugh, that's... Anyway, it has a microfilm on it, whatever. Anyway, now we can get the hell out of here. And I'm going to go pick up my suit as well. So yes, there you go. I don't know, I just think the music is just like, oh, jeez, man. Yeah. If you can hear it, of course, I don't know. Okay, suit. Thank you. Alright, and now we just leave. <sighs> and we do that by going through this gate. Alright, so there you go. That was a new life. And there's a nice picture of the pool. So let's see. Witnesses 1? What? Specialist. Eh, it's good enough. And so yeah, there you go. Specialist wanted by police. There's a news article. You can read it if you can. Wasn't. There you go. Anyway, so this has been Arthur Tomato, and I'll see you next time. Bye.